Hello everybody, it's Brother Scott Lovett, and here we are in February, and I'm ready for your Monday Minute. I'm ready to talk to you about what God is going to do across this nation. Clear back in the year of 2011, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he asked me this question. Would you rather have a downpour from heaven or an uproar on earth? I need us to begin to reflect on this question today. Do we want an uproar here on earth? Do we want judgment on the earth? Or do we want a downpour of God's Holy Spirit? Do we want a downpour of God's revival? Do we want an outpouring of the Spirit of the living God across this nation? It's up to you and I. If we will turn to God and we will begin to confess our sin and repent and stop this stuff, God will open up heaven and pour out a blessing. But the problem is, and the blessing is not money, by the way, the blessing is men's hearts being changed. The problem is, is you just want to keep things going the way they are. It won't work. We must stop right now. As you know, I've been on a capital store. I've been going on the capital store, stepping out in faith to speak to all of the leadership across this nation, stepping out through the work of the Holy Spirit. Early on, I asked God why he was sending me. Why do I have to go, God? You know, in the Old Testament time, God never did anything without sending a warning. I believe God is causing my feet to carry a warning across this nation. We will either see a fire of revival start when I'm done, or we will see an outpouring of God's judgment. And it's not based on God. It is based on your response, just like the Ninevites in Jonah's day or Pharaoh's response in his day. I'm going to read you a text, okay? Uh, how do we get this outpouring of God? How do we get the revival to come? What do we need? We must receive what God's already done for us. Uh, as Exodus 4, 9 speaks about when a man of God goes. You, you ready? This is what God said. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe thee, neither hearken to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign. And it shall come to pass that if they not believe any of the two signs, neither hearken unto thy voice, that thou shalt take of the water of the river and pour it upon this dry land, and the water which thou takest out of the river, river shall become as blood upon the dry land. You understand that for this nation to come back to God is going to cause bloodshed. It's going to cause bloodshed. Listen, a long time ago, we had great sin in this nation during the Civil War, and people's blood spilled on the ground across this nation. I'm talking about 1.4 million, nearly 10% of the population. Their blood spilled out to pay for a sin debt. Listen to me today. If they would have just done what was right, if those men would have set the captive free, that blood would have never had to be spilled. If the federal government would have done what was right, both ways, it's not just one. We must repent now. We must get Jesus in the hearts of men. We've got to follow the Holy Ghost in this hour. We don't have to have bloodshed. All we have to do is receive what Jesus has done for us. I would much rather receive the blood of Jesus for my sin. I would much rather receive the outpouring of his blood over my life than to cause the blood of another human to be poured out. We must stop that sin nature. Listen, Watch these clips from the state of Nebraska, and I'll be right back. Here in Nebraska, I am standing right in front of the only house um, that they have. This state is very interesting because they do not have a House of Representatives and a Senate chamber. They just have one. They're all senators um, from the various districts. It's a very interesting setup, but they gather together. And so here we are standing out in front of the House or uh, the, the chambers anyway. And uh, I'm about to pray for all the representatives. They're coming together right now. They've been here about four days. And we're going to pray that they begin to make right legislation. We're to pray that Jesus comes in the hearts of men in Nebraska and that God would move by his power. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, right now, God, as I stand here, God, I stand right here in front of this chambers, God. I ask God you would move by your power. I ask God the Holy Spirit would touch every individual representing every district. Heavenly Father, I ask God that they would make decisions according to your plans, God, and turn this nation around, God. We bind every demonic spirit of corruption, God. We ask God that men would repent of their sins in this nation, God, especially leadership, and they would focus on doing what's right, 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 right for the people, right for you, right for morality. We release that right now. Holy Spirit calls a revival to come in this day that will burn with a holy passion. In Jesus' name, amen. By me is that? Uh, 
statue of Willa Cather. She was a pioneer um, writer right here in Nebraska. And uh, uh, she made a powerful statement that's on this plaque. It says, the history of every country begins in the heart of a man and a woman. Some people think that this country is founded on just big buildings or, or it's founded just on, uh, uh, you know, money or success. But basically, it's governed based on what's in the heart of every man and woman. So if evil is in our hearts, then guess what? This country is going to fall apart. We've got to get morality. We've got to get self-government back to men. We've got to shrink big government. and We've got to ask God to come into our hearts. We've got to want to do what's right by every person. Don't you understand that? It's a love issue. It's a love issue. And having Jesus in your heart is a love issue. And you will not do right by every man until you get full of God's love and think about their rights. Think about what's right for them, what's right for them and right for God, causing people's lives to be good. Listen, the time is here. The day is now. Stop waiting. We've got to get up and do something. We've got to obey God. It's the hour for it. You've got to get back to church. You've got to get close to God. You've got to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You've got to want the blood of God. The blood of Jesus. Muhammad didn't die for you. You see the picture of the law? Take that Sharia law. They'll pour out blood. Man's blood. Anything that leaves Jesus Christ out will always require some sort of blood. It will require a human sacrifice like a man blowing himself up. It will require some sort of weird uh, sacrifice of animals or something like that. Listen to me. We have to get back to the blood of Jesus. That's what it's going to take. Well, thanks for this Monday Minute. Come back and see me next time. If you haven't been watching the Final Word broadcast, go to FerventFire.com. Look there, um, and you can find out where I'm broadcasting on 1030 locally here around Tulsa on Sunday nights, and then I think uh, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Time across the nation at various uh, 279 stations. So I want you to join me, support this work. I'm going to speak out. I'm going to obey God. We got a work to do in this hour. Aren't you excited to be a part? Become a partner and get your Sermon of the Month. Go to FerventFire.com. See you next Monday Minute.